I'll make a little video on the things that I'm seeing with um, this OLED. Um, so this is an LG OLED C7, and this is an ST50. So this is a this is a Panasonic Plasma from 2012, and you know this is the OLED that everybody loves. I'm not so in love with it. I've had it for about four or five days. Um, the biggest, most obvious issue is panel uniformity. So, coming from a plasma, which is like perfect uniformity, so the entire image looks the same. If you put like a solid color up or is near a solid color. Um, and on this, there's these like really faint vertical bars that you get. Um, and it's kind of obvious in certain content. Like for this, I can't really see it. But if this were to put up something that was really near gray, like almost black, um, you would see it. It's And supposedly, I have a really good panel. I have a November manufactured panel. And I, and I throw up the... I throw up the 1% grays, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, and they're, they're there, you see them, they're very faint, even on those slides, they're not super obvious on those slides compared to the things that I've seen online, which look horrible, like, really bad, I think mine looks pretty decent, um, and people were saying like, oh, I could barely notice it in real content, eh, eh, I don't know about that, depends on the content. So, um, anyway, so the thing that I want to talk about right now, and what I have on the screen, so this is Halo 5 on the Xbox One X <clears throat> uh, being split through an AVR. So both screens are getting a 1080p image because this TV can't do, the plasma can't do 4K. So I just wanted to analyze motion because I was playing on the OLED and I was like noticing that the motion is not so great um hold on let me get my controller so I'm pretty sure this is not going to come out on the cell phone that I'm recording this on um it's a really crappy Motorola cell phone but so on the OLED if I pan from left to right, so I'm focusing on this guy's like uh, yellow circle on his back, um, right, right, right where my crosshair is at, right there. Now, if I pan left to right on the OLED, that circle stops becoming a circle and it gets like stretched, like uh, like an ellipse almost. If I if I do this, it looks like two or three of them. Like I don't know how to uh, how else to explain it. Can he face me? Jeez. Okay. Let me look at this guy's circle because he's more directly behind me. So, yeah, on the OLED, it, it, it smears a little bit. Just a little bit. And I was noticing it because I played a, like a butt ton load of Halo. It's like, so the stuff like this is like sticks out like a sore thumb. And I've had this plasma for five years. Or coming on five years anyway. And it's been great. It still looks, it still looks really good. Like right now, in these 1080p modes, the plasma looks better. Granted, this is a smaller screen, so take that for what it's worth. But like I said, panel uniformity is better on the plasma. Um, and motion handling is way better on the plasma. So I never had to deal with this for like five years, and I'm, and I, I actually game on a G-Sync display. Um, a 27-inch G-Sync that does 165 hertz, so I'm used to that. And then I come back to this, and this is like, I know this is 60 hertz, but I knew something was up because when so when you say it, so like I'm on, let me, let me take off that menu. So you don't notice it when you walk straight. So like. For example, I know this screen is kind of gigantic on the phone, but I'm trying to see if I can angle it in a way. So if I focus in on this guy right there in front of me where the crosshair is at, and I start walking forward, 
you don't really notice any issues with motion like mostly looks pretty good and mostly looks 4k through and through the problem happens is when you pan left to right right to left that's when you start to notice the smearing effect and like the motion resolution it goes away so as I'm doing this I'm looking at the screen right now it's com it's pretty damn blurry I can't really make anything out while I'm looking on the plasma I can still make quite a few things out like my eyes don't hurt when I look at the things on the plasma so this is the plasma like on the phone I'm sure it looks like crap because it's a crappy phone and I'm recording through a crappy camera but I'm, I'm telling you my opinion as I sit here and look at this um, yeah so your perceived resolution as you moved is dropped on the OLED um, versus the plasma. The plasma, it, it does drop, but you have to be moving incredibly fast. So, I'll give you a very small example. So, like, I'm going to pan very slowly, and there's panning motion. I can very clearly see everything on the plasma. And I'm going to just move over here on the OLED. It's blurry. It looks like LCD. This doesn't look like the successor to, like, plasma tech. This looks like an LCD blurring. Like a 60 hertz LCD blurring. Um, I started noticing this because I was actually gaming on the OLED with the computer at 120 hertz and, and you know I was feeding it 120 hertz, a 1080p 120 hertz signal and that was looking better. That was looking better than 4k anything. And I was like, damn, why is that? Like, it looked, it looks incredible. Like, on, on this screen, it looks really good. I think it's mostly because of the black levels. But it doesn't have the same effect as, as my G-Sync display. When you, when you game on the G-Sync, on the monitor, it's, like, revolutionary. Like, it's, it's insane. Um, on here, it just feels like I fixed it. Like when I when I give the screen a hundred and twenty hertz signal and I game on it, I'm like, Oh, okay, that looks right. You know, and all the black levels come through and everything starts to look nice, like how I think it should or was meant to. The problem is not everything's hundred and twenty hertz, you know. You can't do one twenty four K right now, uh, until you know, HDMI two point one T V start coming out and that's gonna be for a, another year or two. Um I don't. I'm not sure if I'm gonna return it yet. I'm, I'm, I still have like about a month and a half before my return window goes. But I just figured I'd give you guys a heads up in case you were thinking about like gaming on an OLED as your first like, um, I guess your your Christmas you know gift whatever was on that number one list, you were like, oh, I gotta get an OLED for this, you know, for whatever reason, the Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, whatever, and you were like, oh, what's the best TV, OLED? Eh, I'm not so sure about that. Um, if you actually go to, I think it's uh, htvtest.com or .uk.com, I can't remember, I gotta Google it. Um, they do reviews of these TVs, and they give you, inside of the review, they're very technical, and at the bottom of the view, they tell you motion resolution. And these TVs, these OLEDs, only do um, 300 lines of resolution. And uh, I think with True Motion, it does 600. Um, but this doesn't. This is uh, this doesn't let you do True Motion in uh, gaming mode. At least I, I don't haven't figured out how to do it. And I'm not sure if you want to. That might might be weird. So I think that's interpolation. So yeah, just 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 a FYI, guys. When gaming on these things, you might not. If you're coming from like an LCD, this might be like nothing to you. This might be an improvement. Um, but if you're coming from plasma, and this this particular plasma, uh, what do you call it? If it looks funny, it's because it's behind the wall and. 
uh, what do you call it? This particular plasma is 60 milliseconds. Um, and has like great black levels. It's, it's, it's the bomb. It's just like a great TV. Uh, for gaming at least. Like I said, the motion resolution on this is 1080. So when it's in motion, it's actually retaining the resolution. And not blurring. It, it looks like it might be some kind of different kind of artifacting that's happening. Like maybe the colors or something. It's not quite... But it doesn't, like, lose the image. Your eyes don't... You don't rub your eyes the same way when you do it on the OLED. The OLED looks like a like an LCD. Like, things smear. Like an LCD. So, hmm. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say this as a caveat. Like, it's harder to notice at 30 frames a second. So, if the games that you're playing... Like, if you're playing console stuff on an OLED at 30 frames a second it's really hard to notice because that slow frame rate hides the smearing effect kind of you start to notice it the higher resolution I'm sorry the higher FPS you go so with 60 Hertz it's noticeable um, with 120 Hertz there, there's enough information there that it just looks right it looks it looks almost CRT ish it looks like a big CRT when you when you feed it 100 because uh, because the black levels are there and it's getting like a really good I, I guess it's I'm, I'm not sure if they measure the um, excuse me if they measure the uh, uh, motion resolution at 120 hertz because I haven't seen anybody do this except for ACTVtest.com um, like uh, Artings I think it's called Artings or Ratings whatever you want to call it. Those guys, they do motion tests, but they do different kinds of tests that don't take this into account. Because they rated this thing really high on motion, on image motion, whatever you want to call it. It's just, the way things move on the screen, they were like, hey, this is a nine point something. I was like, okay, great. I don't have to worry about, you know, movement on this. Yeah. And it's, and it's really odd the way it works, too, because it's like what you focus on. It's basically things that barely move. So, like, as I, as I do this, as I go left and right on the OLED, right? These freaking NPCs keep ending in my way. As I go left and right, the background, like, like this right here, that looks pretty damn good. It's not really moving, that's why. Like, it's barely moving. It's hardly moving on the screen. It's moving like a couple of lines to the left, a couple of lines to the right. But this thing, this flaming purple thing, that thing blurs. Mm, actually, that's not that bad. But it is blurring. It, you, it, I'm looking at the plasma, and it's perfect. It's perfect. It, there's no difference between this, and there's no difference between me moving. So there's a, there's a noticeable difference. So if you're if you're gaming on a plasma, and you want that same kind of like plasma experience of like that motion, I don't think you're gonna get it. And they don't sell plasmas. They, they don't sell 4K plasmas. If they did. I probably would get that. Um. So I think you're kind of screwed when it comes to like trying to get that pristine 4K image. Because they don't exist right now. Until OLED like gets to a point where um, we're getting rid of this. Like slightly blurring. I think it has something to do with the way that it does images. Uh, a lot of people I've seen online were talking about uh, black frame insertion will help this. And the Sony A1s do this. But I don't know if the Sony A1s uh, do this during like a gaming mode. Um, and then their input latency is already higher. So, it's tough. Also, black frame and insertion also lowers the overall brightness of the panel. So, it's a crapshoot, man. There's there's nothing out there right now that kind of just, like, emulates um, this, like, plasma. The plasma's dead. Unfortunately, it's still the best. You know, if they just made a 4K plasma, I would buy it. I, I, I'll give two shits about HDR. Um, right now, HDR is, is like incomplete. Um, like I'm not impressed with HDR. 
um, Dolby Vision is cool. I, I, like I, there's a couple of tech demos that do show it pretty well. Um, I watched The Punisher. It was just a lot of black crush. It just it was a lot of you had to lower the contrast down and then if and if you bump up the the brightness above like 51, forget it. You start to see the you start to see the vertical banding that I was talking about. If I let me see if I have it plugged in, I'll just put it on right now and keep it in the video. Uh, I do. I do. So let me see if I can navigate to my where is it at? Where is it at? Photos and videos? I believe that's it. Okay. Let me back up a little bit. You guys can kind of get a good idea. I mean, I love everything else about it. The black levels are sick. But the panel uniformity is a huge issue with me. Okay, that load. Okay, so. Don't mind that. Uh, don't mind that. That's the, that's the plasma. So. Let's see. 0% blacks, that's fine, that looks black. 1% grays. Let's see what I can... Alright. It's taking forever to load. Let's go. Okay, there it is. So, I can't even, I couldn't even tell for a second. It's on. I have to pump this up a little bit. Pincher mode. It's on vivid. So this is like as bright as it goes. No, it's not. So that's 1% blacks. Compared to the stuff that I've seen, or I guess you could say 1% grays, near black, there it goes. Compared to the stuff I've seen online, this looks fantastic. So, let me go back one, do 2%. Uh, do I have 2%? Yeah, 2%. <clears throat> That's 2%. That looks pretty good. Like, I've seen some awful, awful, awful stuff online in terms of panel uniformity. So let me, let me, I think three is when it starts to rear its head. Let me maybe put this back down to like 75. Because I might be blowing out the image. But it's kind of hiding it. Because you will never watch anything with all three of them up. So you will watch stuff like here. There you go. Now it creeps, rears its head. See it? You might be seeing a reflection. I can't really do anything. I'm not going to show off the light right now. But, um, let's see if I can get rid of the reflection. So, yeah, it's hard to tell, but there's this faint. Hard, like uh, vertical lines, like everywhere, uh, up and down. You can kind of see it through the camera. It's not really coming through because, for whatever reason, the camera's picking up way more reflection than I'm seeing in real life. But I guess that's the way optics work. And I just do four percent. Oops, four percent. And again, you might not see it. Let me see if I can shut off the light real quick. Uh, the thing is, I have so many lights on. Okay, that might be better. Let 
All right, no reflections. So yeah, that's near. And let's go back to five percent. Do I have five percent? Five percent. So that's five percent. So it's not perfectly like. It's not a perfect panel. There's there's uniformity issues. Like I said, if you're coming from plasma and plasma's perfect, um, you're not gonna get that with OLED. You're gonna get these <laughs> these these streaks. These, these there's nothing you could do about it. I read online that some go away with time, but you're talking about like people were spending 2,500 hours of time. So I would have to just leave this on day night to get this to a point where I'm like, okay, yeah. Um, but in terms of what I've seen online, people would kill for this this quality panel. And me having it, I'm like, eh, I have this panel. And it's like, I'm very, I'm very like, black levels are great. HDR is meh. It's like kind of impressive. Depending on what you're looking at, I've only really looked at, um, uh, what do you call it? Horizon Zero Dawn was really good. That looks really good in HDR. I did it with a regular PS4 Pro. I mean, sorry, not a Pro, regular PS4, standard PS4. And uh, that worked really good. It totally gets the signal. You can see it on the TV. It says BT2020 says HDR, it works properly. But, um, if it's, um, if it's not HDR, like, the plasma looks better. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a crapshoot. You know? So you'll get a 4K screen, but when you move, it's not 4K anymore. So motion resolution, that's a big thing. So if, when you're looking at 4K TVs, you should, you should definitely check out motion resolution. If you're not playing games, it probably won't matter because the stuff that you're going to be watching is so low frame rate, which is what I'm guessing is movies and TV shows. It's going to be 24, you know, 24 FPS, 30 FPS, YouTube videos, 30 FPS. You know, the the when it matters, 60 FPS is when it matters. Is when you notice it, you know, and that that's basically like that's gaming. You know, that's basically gaming, the higher end gaming on a console, which right now is Xbox One X. Um, if you're gaming on a PC, then you can push 100 hertz. That's that's a really good benefit. Um, this TV does 50 hertz and 100 hertz. So if you have, so my computer is not the greatest video card. I have a 980 Ti, so I can't hit 120 frames per second on every single game with. Even at 1080p, um, there's certain games that you just, like, Battlefield, I might get 80, 85, 100. In the, so if I want to hit that 100 consistently, I have to turn some things down. So what's good about this screen is that you can force the screen to do 100 hertz, and then you can cap your game at 100 FPS. So you won't get, for screen, um, you won't get screen tearing. Because this is not G-Sync, this is not FreeSync. Um, yeah, so that's a good benefit. So like I said, when it matters, when you when the, the uh, motion resolution matters, is 60 hertz content. Um, so if you watch football or hockey on sports channels, you know, ESPN, that's, I think that's 720p60, ABC is 720p60. Um, It'll scale good. Um, it'll scale real good. Like the OSSC scales great. Uh, it does all these different resolutions and it works just for 3x mode, 4x mode, 5x mode, and OSSC works great. Uh, so. Uh, I 
think that's all I got to say about it. Let me see.